Good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on yet another fairly nice Virginia afternoon. <laughs> I'm actually starting this vlog a little bit late today. Um, let's see, this would be the 15th of June, 2016. And, um, First thing I want to do is reiterate about my video yesterday. Once again, I want to thank you guys. Um, I got the most likes on yesterday's vlog I think I've gotten on any vlog to date. Um, I'm glad you guys found it really interesting. Um, just really, if you get a chance, let me know in this vlog what you really liked about it. I definitely, if I get that many likes in the future, my channel is going to continue to grow. And that's the main goal. I want to not only grow the channel, but make the kind of videos that you guys, uh, my viewers, want to see. Um, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update about the radio installation. I know I, I was a little bit vague on uh, the problem I was having. The radio itself works great. It sounds fantastic. Um, it's got good reception, AM, FM. It's got the built-in CD player. I'm even able to beam the music from my phone to the radio via the Bluetooth. The problem that I'm having with the radio is the included Bluetooth microphone is not working. Um, in other words, say I'm listening to music with my phone and then somebody calls me, I can go and hit the button on here to answer it, um, but that person is not going to be able to hear me because the mic is not working. So there's one of two possibilities. Either the microphone is defective or when we were pushing it back in, the plug in the back came loose. So. Uh, within the next couple of days, we're going to try to pick a cool morning. We're going to go ahead and pull the unit out once more and see uh, indeed if that uh, wire is unplugged. Now, if it's plugged in, um, then chances are the problem is with the microphone itself or the plug in the back of the radio. In that case, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the microphone because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't usually like to answer calls or talk to people when I'm driving, even if it is hands-free. So it's really not going to affect me all that much. It's a nice feature to have, don't get me wrong. I mean, in the event I absolutely need to take a call and um, you know, I wanna go hands-free, it's really a nice thing to have, but it's not necessary. And being as I only paid $10 uh, for the radio, I'm not all that concerned about it. So yeah, one of one the things is gonna happen, either we're gonna take the head unit out, we're gonna see that the plug was undone, plug it back in, hopefully it works. Or if we take it out, see it's plugged in, everything looks good, then I'm just gonna assume that the either the microphone is bad or there's some incompatibility between this radio and my uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And in that case, I'll probably just go ahead and remove the mic. But other than that, it's really working nice. I've really been enjoying it. Um, I tried my best to find a spot to put the remote. I thought about maybe putting it on the uh, steering wheel near where the horn is. The problem with that is the remote needs, it's it's uh, RF, so it need, it's not RF, it's um, infrared. So it needs to have a direct line of sight to the radio unit itself. So I'm basically just keeping it in the cup holder when I need to use it. I'll just go ahead and use it, you know, when I'm driving. That way I don't have to reach to the radio and make the adjustment because in my car, uh, the radio is at kind of a fairly awkward angle. And that's that's the only other negative I must say about it. When they designed these uh, Lincoln Town cars, and bear in mind, this is an earlier last generation. This one's a 99. They kind of made a mistake. What they did is they put the radio at the wrong angle. It should have been facing more forward, whereas the radio kind of is more at a 45 degree angle. So what winds up happening is the sun beats down right on the display. And honestly, during the day, display is almost impossible to read. And that was somewhat of a problem even with the factory unit. So it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, there's really no other way to design it unless I decided to make another uh, hole to put the radio in. And I'm not going to do that with this car. I'm not going to begin, not even begin to fabricate uh, another mount for the radio. So I'm going to live with it the way it is. Well, I'm here at Dollar Tree. I need to go ahead and fill up some uh, water jugs for the Keurig upstairs and uh, talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm here at Dollar Tree and this is what I'm going to use to fill up the jugs. Oh, I got two of them to fill up today, so I kind of parked in front. That way uh, I don't have to lug these things back. Wow, it looks like the price went up. This is a glacier water system. It's just uh, purified water. It's $1.50 to fill up one of these five gallon jugs. Go ahead and place it as best I can there. And luckily I bought a whole bunch of quarters. Oh man, check this out guys. 
this thing is out of order. Oh well, I guess I'll have to go ahead and uh, use the one at Walmart. All right guys, so I guess it's on to Walmart. Uh, that's the only other place around here I can think that they have one of those um, spring water, or filtered water refilling stations. It's, it's amazing. Every time I seem to go to that one, and it's only maybe once every six months or so, it seems to be broken. And that's just because we don't really drink much out of it. That water I keep in the water cooler upstairs that I don't even keep plugged in. It's just so I can dispense water into the Keurig upstairs. And I wouldn't even have to do that uh, except for the fact that Keurig does not have the built-in filter. So I'm concerned about minerals gumming up the works, basically, basically gumming up the pipes, the... Um, heater and everything in there so want to make sure I use at least filtered water I, ideally I, you'd probably want to use distilled water but that kind of gets expensive just buying those little jugs of distilled water and I'm not crazy about the taste you get from distilled water because they've taken literally everything out of it there are no minerals no anything in there there's no nutritional uh, value to that and it actually makes for a very very funny tasting water uh, before I left today, I think you guys get a kick out of this, um, TBS just aired a new series called Wrecked. Um, it's basically a spoof of Lost. They're bu a bunch of people, they're, uh, they're jet crashes on a desert island, and basically it's all the mayhem that ensues. And I watched basically the first two episodes. Well, Dad watched the first two episodes, I watched about one and a half and that was enough for me i mean granted i like the last man on earth which is a stupid comedy but this this show goes beyond stupid i mean th these people are so moronic they are totally inept uh it's just I, I weep for the direction that our tv is going i mean even things like Netflix, a lot of these new shows I'm not that crazy about. Um, the Ranch is one that I tried watching and I couldn't get through an episode. Now, Grant, there are still some good shows out there. Um, I do like uh, The Real Rob, which is a show they did for Netflix about Rob Schneider's life. I've only done eight episodes of that. I'm not sure if they're going to bring it back or not. Um, as I've said it before, I like um, Arrested Development. Some of the more... They are kind of ludicrous shows, but they're a little bit more intelligent lunacy than stuff like this Wrecked, where it's mainly, it's it's building on the popularity and trying to cash in on Lost. That's all it is to me. Now, Grant, I was not a huge fan of Lost either, but that show did have its merits. And to me, this just kind of degrades that. But, you know... I, I, it's terrible to say. I'm sure there are people out here that out there that'll really, really love this this new show, Wrecked. But I can't see myself getting into it. And I gave it a good shot. <laughs> it just uh, it really gets on my nerves sometimes that these uh, television, uh, you know, CBS, ABC. Now, granted, they're they're a little bit more high end than something like TBS, but all of these networks try to capitalize on shows from the past, good shows, and either make a comedy about it or try to do a remake that never usually takes off. Whoa. It's really starting to cloud up down here. I think uh, they said we had about a 40, maybe 45% chance of uh, showers and thunderstorms later, and I really think that's going to happen. Temperature is already up to 83 degrees and climbing. I think we're supposed to get up into like around 86, 87 degrees, and that's Fahrenheit for my uh, foreign subscribers. I'm not sure what that is in uh, Celsius, but well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the vlog here for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm gonna try and get some footage in Walmart. If they complain, then I'll have to stop. But at the very least, I'm gonna give it a try. Talk to you in just a minute. Well, time to get a cart. I'm at Walmart and I'm trying to park as far away as possible you never know a lot of people drive like maniacs around here i know i've reiterated that whoa buddy you need to watch where you're going <laughs> oh yeah we're definitely looking at some storms today i think uh the heat is getting the better of us check this out guys these are totally empty and they did not topple over at all and i was kind of driving quickly around some of those corners so these things are really weighted at the bottom. Oh, got to be careful. The one thing I noticed, these lids are starting to get some cracks in them. So hopefully you're going to remember not to fill them up 100% because I'm going to have a lot of spillage in the car if I do. Well, let's head inside and uh, hopefully their uh, machine is working.
Talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, here's the big question. Is it working? It appears to be. So, go ahead and start filling these things up. Now, with these machines, you don't actually pay here. You pay once you've filled them, so I need to go ahead and raise that a little bit. And start filling. Nice big uh, faucet. Excuse me. That was rude. <laughs> so people don't really care at all when they bump into you. But it is working. It's filling up. This one takes a little bit longer. But it looks like it is, let me see, this one is the Primo water. So this one should be filtered, so it should be good. You guys can tell I need a drink of water, so once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take a, maybe take a sip. Nah, we'll go buy something in front. Wow. That really does fill up slowly. Let's see, ultraviolet light protection system, please do not touch. Oh, cool. So basically what it does, as the water comes out, not only does it clean and purify the water, it also clean and purifies the bottle as well. So that's kind of an innovative uh, system. I've never actually seen one. I know that the uh, Glacier one at Dollar Tree doesn't do that. Yeah, probably gonna take another couple of minutes and then I got this last jug to fill up and then uh, do a little bit of shopping. Talk to you a little right, bit later. Guys, so the water jugs are filled and I see the claw machine calling me. So let's see if I can be lucky at all today. <laughs> I never usually do this one handed, but let's see if I can get something. I'll try, give it a few tries. That looks good. Oh, oh, stay, 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 stay. Awesome. Another toy for LT. Yeah, that might have been payout, but we'll try one more, see if anything here looks good. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure which one, uh, not sure which one to try for here. Maybe we'll go try for this, like, deer-looking thing. That might be, uh, might be a little too hard, but... Looks about right. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's buried in there too much. Let's give the big one a try. This one costs 50 cents. Maybe we'll go for that shark. This one I usually don't have very good luck at, but we'll see. That looks about good. Let's give that a whirl. Ah, too slippery. All right, well, I'll take my one toy that I won. Let's see. This looks like, I'm guessing some kind of sea mammal, like an otter or a uh, seal. Cool, I think LT will really enjoy playing with this. She'll probably, uh, my kid, she'll probably go ahead and tear it to shreds like she did that hippo. All right, guys, so <laughs> just left the Walmart, and uh, I'm a little disappointed. The water here is actually a little bit more expensive. If I got it at Dollar Tree, um, it would have been $3. Here it was $3.79, so basically $1.85 for each of them. But you know what? There was nothing else I could do. They, this is the only other option in the area. Our other Dollar Trees don't even have those. I don't know if it's something that they were trying out and they decided not to add them onto the other Dollar Trees, but. The one that's close to my house is the only one that actually has that uh, water refilling station. And just like this one, it'll do the one gallons, the three gallons, and the five gallons, depending on uh, what your needs are. When you do the uh, one or three gallon refills, there's actually a shelf, a metal shelf that folds down and it'll hold it closer to the spigot. At least um, it's that way in the one at Dollar Tree. This one, as you can see, it actually has a motorized spigot that goes up and down depending on the uh, your size requirements. Well, I don't know why I bought this, guys. I just kind of figured I'd give it a try. It looked like it would have been easy to get, and sure enough, I got it on the first try. Like I said, my cat LT, she loves playing with these. I may actually give this one to Simon, though, see if he'd be interested in it. You know, it's it's just kind of something fun from my childhood that I like to relive, and uh, hey, we all have to have some vices, right? Well, I'm going to start heading home because the clouds are getting really, really ominous, and I think we're going to get some pretty nasty storms soon, so talk to you when I get home. All right, guys. I'm back home. Uh, it's about 
quarter one. I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I do, I want to show you guys this week's Aldi's flyer. I get so many questions and comments about what is Aldi's, um, we're getting one near my house, what kind of deals do they have, so I want to go ahead and show you what this week's flyer looks like, and that will go ahead and end the vlog for today, so I have it right in front of me. Let's take a look and see what kind of deals they have. All right, guys. Well, first of all, you can see the front page here. This is the layout of the Oldies Flyer. They always have the produce picks of the week right here. This week they have green grapes, 79 cents a pound, and that comes in a two-pound package. So you'll actually be paying $1.58. Very good deal. Uh, 99 cent yellow onions, and that's for a three-pound bag. Uh, $1.19 zucchinis, and let me see if it says how much. That's for a three-pack. 89 cents for, see how much that is, that is per 6 ounce package of the Portobello Mushroom Caps. Got a $1.49 for a Honeydew Melon, and you also get a pack of 4 Kiwi Fruits for 59 cents. Not a bad deal at all. Now, all these meat can be hit and miss. Uh, the, the quality is good, but the prices are not necessarily much better than your average store. Uh, like this, we have uh, Fresh Prime Rib or New York Strip st Steak Burger, $5.99 a pound. And that's okay. Sometimes a little bit more. Some of our local stores sell that for $6.99, but I've seen it as low as $4.99 as well. Now, that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, $1.29 per pound for the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. May have to go ahead and pick some of those up. I, what I like doing with those, I um, basically marinate them in uh, an Italian dressing and a few other spices. I put it basically put it all into a Ziploc bag, let it sit for three or four days, and then just throw them on the barbecue, and they are fantastic that way. Coming over here, uh, they got some pastas. Uh, rigatoni for 99 cents, and that's for a 7.75 ounce package. Actually, a 6.2 to 7.75 ounce, so probably different varieties there. Uh, their brand potato salad for $2.39. Um, Berman's mayonnaise with olive oil. Uh, I've tried that before, not my favorite, so I'd probably just go with a regular one, but $1.89 is not bad, and that's for a 30 ounce uh, bottle. Different cheeses. Now, I have had this before, the Happy Farms Deluxe American Cheese Slices. These are actually really good. They are yellow, so they do have the dye in it. I don't buy them all the time, but when I do, I always go and pick that up, and that's for a pound of cheese, and not a bad deal at all. Looks like they have um, Pepper Jack Cheese, uh, 8 ounces for one seventy nine, and looks like a 7-ounce pack of Havarti is one ninety nine. The Havarti cheese they have is good, but I'm not a huge fan of Havarti. Um, they have the bottled waters, very fairly typical prices. Looks like a 24 pack for 209, and let's see how big that is. Uh, no, that's a 24 for 229. This one's a 24 for a 209. I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay, these are 16 ounce bottles. These are 10 ounce bottles, so it's just the size. Coming over here, you can see we got some ribs on sale this week. These are baby back ribs, two eighty nine a pound. Fairly good price. Um, that's actually really cheap for ribs. Around here, the cheapest I ever see baby backs are usually about three fifty or four dollars a pound. Um, they have the Kirkwood smoked sausage, and let's for two forty nine and the what is this bratwurst? This is the uh, Duche Couche Bratwurst. Man, that's a mouthful for three nine. I'd actually like to try those. Those actually are really good. I've had similar ones, just not in that brand. Then we get to uh, the other page, which has more of like the household um, stuff. You see, they have a place here for um, Father's Day. Get a kettle grill for thirty nine ninety nine. Um, let's see what else we got here. Charcoal briquettes. These are the um, I think the ones that already have the uh, lighter fluid in them. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, probably not because you got the lighter fluid right there. I did pick these up yesterday when I was there. These are uh, two of the Range Master uh, lighters, and these are actually really good. That's an excellent deal for high quality lighters, two of them. 
And the last thing I'll show you real quick is the charcoal starter. Now these can come in really handy. Basically what this is, um, when you go ahead and want to light your charcoal grill, instead of just laying the charcoal all around the bottom, you put it in the starter with the lighter fluid and you light it, and basically it contains the heat and it takes about half the time for the charcoal to get to the phase where it's cooking to kind of basically burn off all that soot and get to the white bricks. And once that happens, you just dump it in and you're ready to cook. So that's just a little uh, peek into this week's Aldi's Flyer. Hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog today. I know I enjoy making them. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.